no matter which version you're using, you can follow along. Just go to freesdk.crydev.net so that you can see the plugin that you need for your version of Max. And those plugins are located in your CryEngine 3 folder, in the Tools folder. Find the plugin that you need and just copy and paste or drag that into your 3DS Max folder under Plugins, not Plug Dash Ins, just Plugins, and place your plugin right there. Next, go into the CryMax Tools folder and double click Copy to Max. Indicate the drive letter that you have Max installed into, and once that's done, you're done with setting Max up. Now we can go into Max and make sure that we set everything up properly. If you did everything right, then the CryEngine settings should pop up and the light should be green. And your CryEngine 3 exporter is located under the Utilities tab, Picture of a Hammer. Go to More. And you'll find it here in this list if you want to make a shortcut to it. Then just click this Configure Button Sets, add a total button, and add that button to your utilities. All right, I'm going to create a box. And it's going to be 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. So it's about 3 feet. And in the Modify tab, I'm going to turn it into an editable poly. And we're going to name it Crate 1. Now we have to create another box to be our proxy mesh so that our player doesn't just run through the model. It's a collision mesh and also turn it into an editable poly and make sure that you name it proxy. That's very important so the engine knows that it's a proxy. Now we're going to grab our texture and I downloaded a 512 by 512 JPEG image of a crate and in the first tutorial or in another tutorial we installed the plugin for Photoshop Crytif plugin and make sure you save it as a diffuse underscore high Q and we save that to our uh, desktop but we're gonna go to the CryEngine 3 folder and make an objects folder in the game folder and make a new folder I called it crate 01 and it's important that you work out of the CryEngine so we're going to put the CryTIFF in there and it's going to auto generate a DDS for us and now we can go back to the CryEngine select this little checkered globe for the material editor alright now let's select one of these materials and you can click next to the material name to get a new material but first let's make sure we name it the same as our model Crate 01 and click the material type to make it a multi sub object and discard the old material and now you can have multiple materials in one and set the number for now we're gonna have two materials one for our crate and one for our proxy and then you can set these materials by clicking on their type which is none and we're gonna make them standard materials and you need to make sure they're both Crytek shaders and down here in the maps area we can set the diffuse color a bitmap will let you select your own image and make sure you work out of the CryEngine folder in the game objects crate one folder we made here's our crate Crytif and let's go back up to this material so here's your hierarchy folder so we want to make sure that this material we click it we want to make sure this says crate one and this says proxy so let's name it right here crate one and make sure you have checked show shaded material in viewport so that the material will show up when you apply it and now we'll go back up to the sub material and we're going to make this our proxy material and it's also standard and it's also a Crytek shader but we click physicalize and we make it a physical proxy no draw and now let's select all the objects in our scene or you can press H to make sure you have them all selected and go to your multi sub object material and you can hit assign material to selection or you can drag it onto your models and now we're going to select each model individually by pressing H and picking one and polygon select mode we're gonna select all the polygons and make sure that we assign the correct ID here because as you can see our multi sub object has multiple IDs so the crate needs to be ID 1 and if you need to ever hide objects so that if they're getting in the way you can go to tools display floater and now let's hide the crate that we have and now we can see the proxy and let's go also into polygon select mode 
select all the polygons and set this ID to 2 and you can see that now has the proxy and if we hide our proxy then you'll see that our crate also has the correct material so let's unhide everything and now we're ready to go ahead and convert these or compile them into the CryEngine so let's select everything in our scene and let's add it to this object export list and it didn't select everything alright now we have our crate and our proxy ready to be exported make sure that this dot 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 points you to your CryEngine game objects in the crate folder we created hit save and export nodes is going to export your model and that just happened and now near the bottom we're going to create the material but it's important that you have your material selected the top the multi sub object not individual materials and we select it and we hit create material and let's put it in the same place along with our crate and name it the same thing crate one and you can see the material browser automatically pops up from the editor and select your proxy make sure it's not an alum shader it's a no draw because you don't want to see it and let's just go ahead and apply a metal surface to both of our diffuse and our proxy and the diffuse can be a loom and it needs a metal surface texture now if we go to the objects tab geom entity we can see our crate along with the rest of these objects you may need to reload and we can drag our crate onto the scene let's hit control G to get in the game and we can see our collision mesh is working properly you can shoot the object it's the metal surface type we wanted everything worked great so in the next tutorial we'll learn how to make this a physics model so that if you want to roll it down the hill or something you can do that i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial check out justmakegames.com for more tutorials and contests with free prizes and game development discussion and for youtube subscribers we're giving away free games randomly first person to post on the forums when a free game video comes out gets the game so make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching